Ford has finally done it. The 2021 Bronco is here. After three years of them announcing that the Bronco was going to come, three and a half years, they announced it in Detroit Auto Show in 2017, which was, of course, in January. It's been three years, and then they finally released it. We were expecting it last year, didn't get it last year, expecting it either in January of this year, we didn't get it, then we expected it to be at the Detroit Auto Show, which, of course, didn't happen. But now, it is finally here, and we are ready for it. Now, I think before we start going in depth of the various different options we have and all of the everything the Bronco has to offer, I think we have to see what it is, what it was built for, and go from there. So the Bronco is three different models. It has the Sport, and then the two-door, and the four-door. The Bronco was built for these two in direct competition to the Jeep Wrangler. So I don't think we should really compare the Bronco to what it was before and what it is now. Obviously, it is very similar and very much based off of what it was before. And of course, they're targeting the off-road market and also people who want to enjoy an SUV with an open feeling. That's why the Bronco is a, literally a Jeep, but Ford. So they are obviously competing against the market where Jeep was just pulling numbers. And now, of course, they finally have some competition. They had the FJ Cruiser competition, but the FJ didn't have the option to remove the doors, remove the roof. And, of course, they stopped it, making it almost eight years ago now. So Ford said, let's make this. And, of course, it's going to be very successful, just as Jeep is doing. And, of course, they have the Sport model, which is more of an everyday type SUV. Of course, it is still very off-road and very rugged. It's more for... Like, kind of the Jeep Renegade, but it's much more off-road based than that is. So now that we understand that, let's go into the details and the specs of the Bronco. So the Bronco is coming with two different engine options. It's coming with a 2.3 liter four-cylinder inline four engine, which is going to produce 370 horsepower, and it's going to produce 310 pound-feet of torque. Of course, it is the EcoBoost engine, the twin turbo, or the single turbo variant so this one is a single turbo while the step up from it is a 2.7 liter v6 twin turbo ecoboost uh, ecoboost engine which produces 310 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque so of course the base model for the bronco is going to start at thirty thousand dollars when we compare that to other models that it has it is very cheap it once you go pick options it gets very expensive very quickly when comparing it to a Jeep Wrangler, Jeep Wrangler starts at $28,000, and of course there's market inflation and everything on top of that, so you're not going to be necessarily paying that. So basically, very similar in pricing with the two, and of course with models and with options, you're going to get up towards fifty dollars and $60,000 very quickly, and which is what most people are going to do. I, I expect people to pick higher options. I don't really expect to see, expect to see very many base model Broncos out there. But here is where it gets kind of confusing and there's going to be a lot of explaining. So of course we have the three different options for the Broncos, right? So this is the Bronco Sport and this is the Bronco. If we scroll down on Ford's website, it gives all of the information about the Bronco and all of that. So if we go click Meet the Bronco. So we click that page and this opens up. So, of course, we can build in price. The one thing that isn't on Ford's website that I can find, I can't find anything about the interior necessarily. So, if we scroll down, of course, we have the base, we have Big Ben, and then we scroll, we have the Black Diamond Edition, we have Outer Banks, we have Badlands, Wild Track, and then we have the First Edition. So, it looks like this is just all sold out already. So we are going to go, I'm going to go through the different options and different um, differences between the two. So if we keep scrolling down, you can reserve the Bronco. So the base Bronco starts at $28,500. That is $200, give or take, more expensive than the Jeep Wrangler is. So if we go 
to how Ford is choosing to explain each and every single model that we have all of this differences all of these and then of course there's all every single option under here so we're gonna go through I'm gonna make this a little bit simpler for everyone and I'm gonna go through each different model and what the differences are between the two so the base Bronco is obviously gonna be optioned with the 2.3 liter inline 4 with the turbo um, you can option to have the v6 in it you can also option to have an automatic it comes standard with the seven speed manual transmission so you're also limited in color when you do have the base model Bronco the colors you're limited to are the Oxford white the rapid metallic red with the clear coat and then blue black gray and silver so there's a there's like orange and there's all these different crazy colors that you can have with the higher models but the base only comes with those and if we move on to go to the next one we have the big bend which is thirty four thousand four hundred and eighty dollars so this one is obviously more expensive you keep going up the tier the more expensive it's gonna go obviously and the more options you're gonna get so this one still comes with the same engine you can obviously option for a higher engine or the higher automatic transmission even though I know most people will prefer the 7 speed manual so this one also does add some colors you get so this one adds race red cactus gray and a color called area 51 which is a dark teal and also all the other colors that I have already mentioned those are also applicable to this option so it also adds 17 inch aluminum painted wheels that come with 225 75 all-terrain rubbers and in the front you'll get a, like a carbon type gray grille and it'll match the wheels and the LED fog lamps so then on top of that it's gonna add a little bit to the interior you're gonna get a leather wrapped steering wheel and your shifter will also be added with the leather wrap you'll also get a privacy glass the next tier up from the big bend is the black diamond which costs thirty seven thousand five hundred and forty five dollars so this is more of like an off-road like heavy off-road addition so what you're gonna get is a stronger front bumper and you're gonna get a power coated steel rear bumper along with bash plates which are rock rails underneath so this is obviously the next step so you're gonna get the 17 inch black painted wheels and on top of that you're gonna get uh, 265 70 all terrain rubbers so if you have seen the Raptors auxiliary switches this is the first model to have those in them in the Bronco the base and the big bend did not have them so the black diamond is also getting those auxiliary switches as part of it so on this one you're gonna get the 2.7 liter uh, EcoBoost which is the V6 and the automatic as options still so what it also does is it adds the orange the cyber orange metallic to the choice which is now you're at 11 different color options the next step up we're taking is the Outer Banks, which is $40,000. So this is more of the luxury edition of all of it. So um, it has LED lighting, heated front row bucket seats. It has the mid package, which adds a uh, dual climate zone, remote start, and Ford's like 360 co-pilot safety it has all of that so this is more of the luxury base like it's like the king ranch to all the rest of them if i'm putting into the truck comparison so um what this does get it's it's on 19 inch uh wheels with 255 70 all-terrain tires it doesn't seem to add any other engine option um so there i'm assuming there's still still options as part of it they're also adding a 12 inch touch screen so as a part of the high package on this model and it's getting side steps which the other ones did not have from what i see so it's getting painted side steps onto the side of it next up is a ten thousand dollar step up which is the wild track it is fifty 
thousand three hundred and seventy dollars so this is basically a desert runner and it adds 35 inch mud terrain tires it has locking front and rear axles it has a higher clearance and it has fender flares on it, it is a very off-road based bronco if I expect to see a lot of figurations in this one and the last one for people who want luxury and for people who want the more off-road base. I don't see a lot of people buying the second tier option just because if you're going to spend some money on options, you might as well take the step up. But also if you're sitting at the base, you might as well take the step up to the next one as there isn't much of a difference between the two prices. So I don't expect to see too many bases just because the two steps up between are very small. But this one does add like hood graphics. It has a Baja mode and it has standard the 2.7. It also has a 10 speed as a standard. So you can still get the manual on this, I believe, which I do expect more people to buy, but it does come with a 10 speed as a standard option on this one. So it has heated cloth seats and it also has carpeted flooring and the seats are also available as a leather option on this one. So next we have the Badlands, which is kind of weird because it is the most off-road capable version of the Bronco. It's less price, less in price. It's $43,590 when you compare it to the other one. The other one, it looks a lot better as bigger side flares. It is like the most badass version of the Bronco you can buy. But this one is better at rock crawling and such like that. That one's much more of a desert crawler. So it doesn't necessarily, I'm not necessarily 100% sure, but I believe it does come with a 10 speed 5.7, which is also optional option to have the, auto, the manual 7 speed in it compared to the 10 speed auto. So it has its own hydraulic front sway bar disconnect in it. It's basically the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon in the Bronco. So it has 17 inch wheels on it with 33 inch tires and it has a so it gets a steel rear bumper and a heavy duty front bumper. It also has a vinyl seats which are washable. So basically like the newer um, Rubicon tab where you can just power wash them. They're basically like that. I'm assuming everything is going to be fully, fully washable and of course we have the last one which is sold out and it's the first edition which is sixty thousand dollars six thousand eight hundred dollars so it's basically the first run first edition of the bronco it's thirty five hundred of them will be built it'll be like the top of the line with the badlands model and it'll have the wild track on it it gets a sasquatch package which is standard it has all the luxury it has a 10 speed banging olufsen sound system voice control navigation wireless charging it has like everything you can possibly want on it and it only comes in rapid red cyber orange metallic or the area 51 which is the dark teal and the cactus gray so those are all six of the normal broncos explained of course there's the bronco sport which i will do a video on if this video is good and is requested so will i be buying one i'm considering it in my next video i'll reveal if i do buy one and if i would buy one which one i would buy one uh what do i think about the bronco i think that is a very very capable car and from what i'm seeing it looks really really good in pictures and I expect them to sell a lot of it, especially because the price compared to the Jeep, I feel like this is much more like bang for your buck than the Jeep is because some of the Jeep models are higher, much more pricey, while this one is a little bit less priced compared to some different options, but they're very similar. I feel like the Bronco is just an overall better car than the Jeep is just because of off-road wise and the interior on this is like high quality compared to like gm plastics and i just feel like they did a very good job with this overall not to bash a jeep in any way but i feel like if someone was to choose a bronco versus a jeep
just based off of what we see on paper, I feel like the Bronco is much better. Of course, we will see how these hold up, what kind of build quality they'll have, what kind of interior they will actually have, because in pictures, it looks absolutely amazing. So we'll find out all of that and we'll see which one is ended better. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll reveal if I'm going to buy one or not.